Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana Duenas and welcome to my YouTube channel. I definitely was not thinking I was going to do this anytime soon. I had family and friends who encouraged me to do my channel and to post me recording my, you know, my makeup and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, you know what, like I'm not the best, but maybe this will help me watch my progression as the years go by because makeup is something that I really love to do so like, there's no way that I can't do this like there I'm gonna do this I'm gonna stop procrastinating and I'm gonna do it so um, I went ahead and just filmed this um, half cut crease kind of pink metallic eye um, for you guys so if you want to know how to recreate this look then just keep on watching I did my eyebrows and one eye off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and start with priming my eye using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply that to my lid and then um, blend it out with my Beauty Blender. Um, I'm then gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. And I'm gonna take the shade Sunburst. I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone just to give it a little highlight. Okay, now moving on to eye. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. Um, this is from their holiday collection. I literally ordered it right when it dropped while I was on my way to class. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this transition shade right here. These do have names. I don't have the plastic covering with the names on it. Take that shade and a... <laughs> this Morphe um, blending brush. It doesn't have a name because I got it in a set a while back, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that shade cut off the excess and start little by little building up my transition shade. Now that we've built up that transition shade, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up another fluffy blending brush from Morphe. This is, again, came in a set, so I got the set maybe when I first started getting into makeup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this shade right here. I don't know, I'm pointing at this one right here. This one. And I'm gonna go ahead and build that starting from the outer corner to all the way to the middle of my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the first fluffy brush that we used and use that to blend the transition shade in with the crease shade. I'm actually so glad that I'm starting to do this because I am a procrastinator and I always told myself that I was going to do this next time and next time and next time. And recently for my birthday, um, my boyfriend gave me a ring light as a gift and I was like, okay, now that I have the good lighting, I don't have an excuse to not get started with videos. I don't have a camera, but hopefully if this, <clears throat> if, <laughs> if this all goes well, if this all goes well, um, I'll put more, what's what I'm looking for, more, She's busy! I'll put more um, time and money into trying to make my videos, you know, just better because I really feel comfortable as far as talking in front of a camera. I, it's weird, but I feel comfortable, if that makes sense. So hopefully this turns into something more than just a hobby. You know, the world may never know. Only one way to find out. Um, next, we are going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to take the Morphe Y21 um, flat brush just to cut my crease. I don't know, it's 
not really yeah it's a cut crease usually I cut my crease with um, shape tape but since I'm using a pigment um, a pressed shadow I'm gonna go ahead and use the glitter glue just because it holds it um, together better and then taking a flat um, Morphe brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take there go, my BoxyCharm Blink Electric Eyes palette. I got them a few months back and I've never used it. Um, I started swatching it today and I was like, oh my god, I really love that color. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna pick up this pink um, pressed powder. Um, I really like it. It glides on really smooth. Go back into the Morphe palette. This is so hard. I need to get my stuff together, literally. Go back in with the Morphe palette, and we're gonna take this dark um, purplish shade in the corner, and we're gonna go ahead and go in with a dense um, tipped brush. This is the Wet n Wild. This is from the Wet n Wild um, Chrome Collection, and we're going to build it up in the outer corner of the crease just to blend the pressed pigment and the rest of the colors together. While we do that, we're gonna go ahead and take the very first brush again from the Morphe collection that I had mentioned, and we're going to blend out that color with the rest of the colors. Okay, and then taking um, the second, again, sorry, you don't have the names, the second fluffy brush that we had used, we're going to go ahead and pick up the second shade, the second to last shade at the top row on the right. And we're going to just drag it underneath our eye, that way we can get some color under our waterline. I like to do this step um, before concealer and foundation. I don't know why. But a lot of people do it afterwards, which is totally fine too. Everyone has their preferences. Then we're going to go ahead and pick up this flat brush from that same Morphe collection. I don't. They still probably have it. I can link it down below if I can find it. I'm pretty sure they still have it um, on their website. We're going to take the last shade, so that darker shade, and drag it on the outer corner of our lower lash line. <laughs> Then going back in one more time with that dark shade and a fluffy brush, we're going to go ahead and build it up from the outer corner of our lid. Just to get more dimension in there. And then blending it out again with um, a second fluffy brush. I like to take um, a makeup removing wipe and just kind of run it underneath my eyes just so I don't have any extra pink fallout from the eyeshadow before I go ahead and go in with foundation then I'm gonna go ahead and take the 24 7 glide on eye pencil from Urban Decay and run it on my top waterline and lower waterline we're gonna go <laughs> Redo and take our lashes. These are the Violet Voss um, Come On Eileen lashes. They don't have the name on the box, but I lied. I lied. They're Wispy My Name lashes. Um, I use my Duo Brush On Eyelash Glue. This one is by far one of the best glues I've used. Um, it gets tacky really, really fast, so it's easy for application. I'm going to go ahead and brush them on and while that dries I'm gonna go ahead and um, curl my lashes this is just the Tarte eyelash curler um, limited edition I think for the holidays so like when I try curling them they all just go boop, instead of like actually curling curling so we'll try my best on curling these okay 
we're gonna go ahead and take some just take your tweezers and just go ahead and pop them on oh you like those that inner corner to dry really quick while that's still drying before we blend it out with mascara I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the same brush the little angle tipped brush that we used to apply the highlight on our brow bone I'm gonna spray it with the Mario Badescu rose water and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Ofra glow goals highlighter by Nikki Torials this is the highlight we're gonna use later but right now we're gonna use it for the inner corner because it's gorgeous By the time I did that, my lashes already glued on. So we're going to go ahead and take the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and just blend out my real lashes with my falsies. Before we move on to primer, I'm going to go ahead and just set my brow really quick. Because I set this brow already, but not this brow. With my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Gel. Moving on to oops, to primer, I'm going to go ahead and go with the NYX Total Control Drop Primer Face. Drop it all over my face. <gasps> and then taking a... Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just buff that out throughout my. What's I gonna get? Oh, that's what I was gonna get. Just make sure you buff it out evenly. And now going in with my OG foundation. Um, this was the very first foundation that I ever used. Before I started wearing. Um, Full on face makeup, I would just do my um, under eye concealer and things like that. But when I started doing foundation, um, I got the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. It's 24 hour wear. It actually it wears really, really well. It just looks like this. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the back of my hand to evenly distribute it or all around my, my carita. This one does dry a little faster than most foundations, but if that ever happens, you guys can just spray your face with um, setting spray. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Morphe M442 brush. It's just a bristled foundation brush. It's perfect for buffing out any foundation. Oh my god, it smells so good. I just washed it a little while ago. Hit that double chin, sis. <laughs> I just like to kind of, kind of just tap on my face just to make sure that it is evenly distributed all over, and I don't have any white patches as far as missing foundation all over my face. So, okay. Now, when you have everything evenly incorporated on your face. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Tarte Shape Tape, same one that we used to prime our eyelids. I'm um, going to go ahead and just conceal this face because... I just like to apply it in the highlighted areas of my face. So under my eyes, um, on my Cupid's bow. On my chin down the bridge of my nose and then on my five head being a really full coverage concealer it also dries a little quicker than most so this one I do spray my face before I actually start blending probably should have done it first before telling you but hey YOLO 
But I'm gonna go ahead and take a little Luxie brush. It came in a set. This is Luxie 213T. Um, it's just kind of like a. I should probably start using this. It's kind of just a little angled um, mini brush. I like to use this one to contour my nose just to give it a little more um, depth as far as slimming it down. And to contour, I like to use the Kat Von D Shade Light palette. And I like to take the lightest, well, is it considered lightest? Yeah, the lightest shade just to kind of give my nose that depth. Just enough product on the nose just to kind of slim it down. So then I'm going to go ahead and take my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and just spray it all over my face before I blend out my concealer. Then going in with my Beauty Blender, I'm going to go ahead and just blend all that out. Because it's a lightweight spray, so when you spray it, it doesn't feel like there's like a bunch of drops all over your face. But kind of like a mist, it has like a misty feel to it. I feel like when I'm doing this, I'm just like... <laughs> but hey, this look like... This is the only dabbing I do. Once I'm done blending that out, I like to go back in with the little brush that we contoured the nose with and just kind of blend it evenly because sometimes my sponge tends to take away the bronzy feel to it. I'm going to go ahead and for baking, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I like to just kind of get some on the lid because a little goes a long way. And then just taking a sponge, I'm going to pick up the product and just place it on the areas where I placed the concealer. I like to run it also down the sides of my mouth only because I have, I tend to get smile lines sometimes. So it helps prevent them popping out in pictures and things like that. While that sits, we're going to go ahead and pick up a bronzing brush. This is a Real Techniques brush, um, however, the, the model rubbed off on the handle from me using it too much. But I'm going to go ahead and take that same contour kit, and I'm going to take this middle shade right here, just to kind of bronze up my face a little bit. Is that dad? I really love um, this contour kit only because it gives me kind of a smooth finish. Um, I used another one a while back and it didn't give me nearly as much smooth um, bronzing as this one. While our under eyes are still baking, I'm going to go ahead and go in with that same sponge that I used for my um, concealer and kind of just clean up underneath my, my um, contour area. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and pick up my Morphe G30 brush. It just looks like this. It's a dense, um, angled looking brush. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up that light shade on top of, of, of the bronzer that we just used. And I'm going to use that just to kind of clean up underneath our contour as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up another 
two Wet n Wild brushes, or yeah, two. Um, they're just little fluffy brushes from that same chrome collection. I kind of see the excess powder coming off. We're just going to use those to brush off the um, powder all over the face. I like to go ahead and let under my cheekbones, um, under my cheekbone contour sit, and as well as on my the bridge of my nose, just because I like those to be more defined. So I like to let those sit more than the other ones. I just like to use the smaller one just to kind of get in the cornered areas of my face, so that way I don't miss any of the any of the um, powder. And now after that, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of brush off the one underneath my contour. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and brush the rest of it off now. Using the same bronzer brush and whatever is left on the brush itself, I'm just going to go ahead and blend upward where I contoured um, my face. Going back in with a, my brushes are all over the place, <laughs> my brushes are all over the place brush. Going back in with the same brush that we used to brush underneath the waterline. I'm going to go ahead and use whatever is left on that brush and just kind of run it underneath one more time. Just to make sure that that product didn't go anywhere. And then going in with blush, I'm going to go ahead and take my Luxie 514 blush brush, the <laughs> Milani Baked Blush in Rose de Oro. So it just looks like that. It's a really pretty kind of reflect. Um, it has gold reflex in it. We're just going to go ahead and blush up the cheeks. Give it a little natural flush. <laughs> Um, I just like that it has that kind of peach undertone to it with the gold reflex. It gives it kind of a natural highlight before the highlight, if that makes sense. Now going back in with our Tarte Tardiest Mascara, I'm going to go ahead and just apply some to my lower lashes because I did not do that before. girl get a girl then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with my setting spray by cover FX and I'm just gonna spray my face before highlight it feels good it's hot in here <laughs> for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the cover FX um, custom enhancer drops in moonlight so they're these Highlight drops. I like to put this first. I kind of have to use it as like a base before I actually put my highlight on. So let's go. On the tip of your nose, the bridge of your nose, and on your cheeks and just blend it out with your finger. The other side really quickly before we move on. And go back in with the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals Highlighter. This highlighter um, is very powerful, very powerful. So um, I recommend that you tap off any excess that you possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my fan brush, my Morphe G23 fan brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of the highlight. Tap that, ooh, you see that? Ooh. This is dangerous. But I'm gonna go ahead and place it on top. You see all the dust flying around? It's a highlight. <laughs> it's all extra because Nikki is extra. Nikki is me. You see that? And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet and Wild, um, another chrome brush. It is just, I like to call it my little mini highlight brush. 
and I'm gonna do that use that one for the tip of my nose because like I said before this stuff is extra if you don't want to glow to the gods this highlight is not recommended <laughs> I look buttery. I look creamy. Now we're gonna move on to lippies. Go ahead and go in with the MAC lipstick in taupe. It's kind of just um, a brownish, brownish pinkish lipstick. <laughs> line my lips fun fact I don't ever line my lips I don't know why I just I guess I'm kind of scared because when I first started wearing makeup I didn't know what lip liner was and I would never line my lips so I guess it, it's kind of like a developed habit I guess and then to cover the lips because I'm more of a gloss person rather than a matte lip person I'm gonna go ahead and go with the NYX shiny lip gloss and I'm just gonna put it on top of my lipstick Three hours later. Oh, this is what you get. That concludes this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Tune in for the next videos to come. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe i'll have most of my products that i use linked in the description box down below and yeah um, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments down below as well and i will talk to you guys later oh my god okay <laughs> Jesus. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my oh my god, this chair. <laughs> like I make such like ugly faces like look. And we're just gonna <laughs> duh. For highlight. Ooh. <laughs> Best friend crisis. Shh. Shh. I just burped.